Hi, in this tutorial I want to talk a little bit about the main window or the image window here in GIMP. As you know in GIMP 2.6 different images open in a different uh, windows. So you see here the first thing that we have is the menu bar. We can also access that by clicking here or we can right click on the image and uh, you'll see again the same options here. Now this is entirely a matter of habit if you want to work with this one or this one and uh, also you can click here and make this a floating dialog and let's say position somewhere on the image where you are doing some work and you want to quickly to access the options here. So this style of working can save you some time but it's entirely like I said a matter of habit because if you're used to kind of on autopilot select options from here this menu finding those options from here it's kind of will take you some time so it's entirely up to you if you want to use this menu here or this this one and uh, if you make this a floating dialog the way you close it is with this option or just clicking here now what else do we have here in the image window like I said we have the menu bar um, we have also the rulers here and the scroll bars also we have this option that gives us the ability to navigate through the image we can click this option here and resize or more precisely zoom in and zoom out the image depending on the size of the window so when you're resizing the image window this image may stay the way it is right now or zoom out or zoom in to be visible in the window down here we have the status bar and uh, the zoom options here the ability to work in pixels and other uh, metric systems also when we have our, our mouse over an image you see here the coordinates the x and y coordinates of the location of the pixel that we are on with our mouse right now and also here we have some information about the tool in the status bar you see right now it's saying click to paint control to pick a color so if you hold down the control key you get the color picker and you select the color to pick that color so here you get some useful tips now these scroll bars here and the rulers sometimes you may not use them often for example the scroll bars I never use them at all so we can go to view here and decide to hide these scroll bars like this but you see that also we lost some of the options let's bring them out again for a second here also the quick mask button I've already discussed this we lost that we also lost this button here and uh, the button that allows us to uh, zoom in and out the image according to resizing the window so hiding this scroll bars and also you can hide the rulers like that and make more space for the image you can also hide the status bar here and uh, you can hide the menu bar and this window now only contains let's up we have some information the title of the image the color space rgb right now how many layers we have in this image the width and the height of the image this is also what we've got here so it's entirely up to you how you want to work right now in GIMP and um, let's right click here view and bring our menu bar again so if you hide this and you're wondering how to do that just right click and we'll get the same menu here let's go to view again show rulers show scroll bars and uh, right now the only shortcut keyboard shortcut assigned here is for the rulers but you can also you'll see in some of the future videos how we can assign other shortcuts here to quickly hide the scroll bars for example when we don't need them and um, something else if you do hide them 
from here when you close GIMP and start it again they will appear again because uh, by default they're on so if you want to hide them and make them appear only when you want to you have to do that from the preferences I've made enough videos about that and then GIMP will start let's say without the rulers and the scroll bars and you can make them visible only when you want to so that's it for this image window and um, in the next tutorial I'll start discussing the file menu here bye for now